This video explains how to round two multiples of any number using the round any function of the plier package in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example and this example is based on the vector object that we can create with lines two and three of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data object is appearing, which is called X. And we can print this data object to the RStudio console by running line four of the code. And then you can see that we have created a new vector object containing 10 random numeric values. Now, if we want to apply the round any function of the plier package, we also need to install and load the plier package, as you can see in lines six and seven of the code. I have installed the package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line seven of the code. And then we can apply the round any function to our data object X, as you can see in line nine, to round our data object to a multiple that we are specifying within the round any function. So within the round any function, we need to specify the name of our data object. So in this case, the data object is called X and the multiple that we want to use. So in this case, we are using the multiple one. And then we are storing the output of the round any function in a new data object that I'm calling X round one. So if you run line nine of the code, you can see that this data object is appearing at the top right and we can print the new data object to the RStudio console by running line 10 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a new output which is showing our rounded data with the multiple one. Now we can also change this multiple as you can see in the next example in line 12 of the code. So in this case, I'm using the multiple 0 0.25. So if you run line 12 of the code, you can see at the top right that another data object is appearing, which is called X round two. And we can print this data object to the RStudio console by running line 13 of the code. And then you can see that this time we have rounded our data to multiples of 0 0.25. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.